Hi, Rich here, uh, N2ZD. Anyway, uh, before you, I have um, a working on the bottom, uh, a working uh, JW Miller AT2500 tuner. Now, uh, these tuners were available from the 70s up to, I believe, the 90s. And uh, it relies on a coupler here, which is basically an SWR bridge, which relays back to the board inside the forward and reflected power, which is basically how it determines a, a match, much like you would manually. Uh, unfortunately, over the years, this particular tuner with this outboard uh, coupler, this generally gets lost as the uh, tuner gets sold, moved around, you know, uh, sold as an estate or whatever. Anyway, uh, pretty much with the documentation, which luckily it's pretty good. Gives you an idea of how the tuner actually works. Basically, uh, once again, the controls here are fed information uh, to, you know, get a uh, an appropriate match. Uh, it's not a hundred percent, but it it was actually. Uh, the cat's pajamas back in the day, as they say. Over here, you have an, a, an adjustment for uh, the linear amp. So it's able to take the, lamp, uh, the amp out of line if the SWR goes high. And you can set that from around 1.5 up to uh, 3. And then over here, you have... Uh, how critical you want the tuner to match your... Uh, transceiver. Anyway, uh, this box here has markings on a tuner and transmitter and uh, with that uh, you would put this between the tuner and your transmitter to determine uh, you know your best match. So that's how this works. Anyway, inside here is an SWR bridge with a ground a forward wire and a reflected wire. Now, uh, I have two of these here, but the top one does uh, not uh, show reflected power. So the uh, the tuner um, apparently has an issue, but that that's neither here nor there. Uh, on the back of the tuner is a three ding, three pin din plug, which. Uh, if you could see that you can get that on eBay I bought like five of them for like five bucks uh, basically I made my own now uh, the way I determined this is, was uh, not <laughs> no rocket science but I see tons of people out there that don't have a coupler for this tuner and without that it's just really not you know, uh, 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 what it's cracked up to be if you don't have uh, the coupler. So why, why bother with one of these if you, if you don't have the coupler? You know, you could, you could get, you know, just about uh, any good tuner out there that's manually controlled without the drag of the, of the motors that are inside. It's a great tuner, don't get me wrong. It's a wonderful tuner, but uh, once again, the reason why most people purchase these is that they're, they're, you know, it's an automatic tuner. So what I have here is, you know, this is my lab. Unfortunately, I'm in an apartment at this time, but uh, I have an 857 and a power, small power supply, just enough to kick that over. And uh, a working... AT2500, which I purchased. This particular one you'll see on eBay as well. Uh, I bought it from a gentleman named uh, Jerry. Uh, 
and it, this one came with the coupler, so it worked 100%. Anyway, what I did here was I put up a rudimentary antenna just to give the, the, the uh, tuner a challenge here, and uh, I had purchased this board from uh, a gentleman in Russia on eBay, and inside I mounted this in an old non-working MFJ dummy loads, what I had available, and pretty much set it up like a regular coupling, in, out, uh, and uh, made sure that the connectors here are grounded properly all the way to the other side so that it would work properly. I mounted it on standoffs here. It's no work of art, believe me, it was just to see if this would actually do what I needed to do. Anyway, it was roughly $37 plus the shipping. The gentleman, uh, uh, Victor, is uh, uh, eager to answer questions. and I didn't ask him too much anyway. I figured, ah, I'll try it, see how it works. Anyway, it, it seemed to work very well. There's just three connections to the board uh, along uh, with the in, input and output. And the only uh, thing I ran into, which was pretty crazy, was this uh, um, meter here kept staying around this, you know, somewhere in that 10 to, uh, uh, t where that marking says 10, 10 to 1, and it wouldn't budge. And basically what had happened was uh, I had the input and output set improperly. But a anyway... Uh, when I reversed it, it worked incredibly well. So uh, basically with this radio, I, I key up, as you can see, the, uh, the uh, meters actually work. I only have a few watts going into this thing. And uh, it, it works pretty well. See, there you go. And that's with my homebrew uh, uh, case <laughs> with the with the board in there, but it does work pretty good. So I mean, if you if you want to spend a few hours and a few bucks, you can make yourself one of these uh, uh, for under fifty dollars. You know, you could use any case you want. Uh, just you know, follow uh, the the design, and it's basically uh, the forward reflected power. Now, if you look here on the radio. See, the SWR is good. Uh, I could demonstrate the other coupler as well, but what's the sense? We all know that one's going to work. So, But it does work pretty good. And you could probably improve upon this. Uh, uh, there's adjustments inside on the left side of the tuner to uh, zero in. Um, but it does exactly what the regular coupler does. So anyway, if... Uh, you like this video, just uh, hit the like button there. And, uh, pretty much wanted to pass this along. So, if anybody out there uh, has one of these tuners and you want to get the auto side of it working, I put a little something up on uh, on Eham as well. So. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, make a comment below, that's all. But it's uh, yeah, a way to get your old tuner working again. I'm not uh, an engineer, I'm not a rocket scientist. I just happened to find Victor's board on eBay, 37 bucks, two weeks delay, you know, in the shipping. Great guy, great product, an excellent looking board, and... Uh, it uh, handles up to three kilowatts, so that's the one that you want to use. And uh, he did a great job uh, uh, putting these out there. It's actually for some type of uh, solid state amplifier that uh, that he offers as a kit. But I'll tell you, this thing's great. Uh, as of this uh, uh, recording, I think there's seven left on eBay, but I'm sure... Uh, uh, he'll make more. I uh, I told him he better make more because uh, once I get this out there, there's going to be a load of people with these 
wonderful tune is that I want to get him working. So it does work. The idea, you know, maybe you could make it better. You could tweak it, whatever. You know, uh, all I'm saying is if you want to get this tuner back on the air the way it was intended, this is what you got to do. So uh, I believe Victor's call is R3KR, if I'm not mistaken. But you'll see, it'll be V underscore R3KR, I believe, is the uh, is the eBay store. But just put in a uh, uh, three kilowatt SWR bridge and so, something like that, and it'll pop up, and you, you'll see it. And uh, great guy, great product, and uh, and uh, he answered my emails. I didn't have much to ask him, but anyway, uh, I hope to get the top one going, and then I'll have my couple of there for the uh, for the lower one and this one here that I uh, threw together. You know, I'm going to end up revamping it, but it, it does work. I used the mic cord and this uh, old MFJ thing here, and you know, and uh, I, put, I had to put two new uh, connectors on there because that's what was wrong with this. It was missing the uh, connector to the dummy load. So it's my uh, sacrificial lamb. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, good luck getting your tuna going. If you need a hand with anything, just uh, just uh, send me uh, an email. Uh, I'm good on QRZ. It's uh, November 2, Zulu Delta. With that, uh, there's only three connections that go to the DIN plug. Back on the back of the unit, the DIN plug uh, connections are the center is common uh, and there's a connection for forward and, and reverse if you look at the uh if the, the manual is very small so if you look at the manual you can pretty much figure it all out uh not too uh, difficult i used a muffin fan connector on there uh to uh the, he victor gives you the connection but i didn't have the uh the you know the the time to assemble the connector with with wire. I happen to have a a uh, muffin fan connector with three pins on it, like you would see on a computer CPU, and uh, I just snapped that off and you know snipped it off and then just uh, used that in, in, instead. So hope you enjoyed this. Thanks, and good luck getting yours working. N two ZD seven three.